the U.S. right now and the world have their eyes trained on Nigeria. There is a campaign to get the girls back who <clears throat> have been captured by militias in that country. 300 girls from a high school, a horrendous crime. But how does it look to the women that you work with in Congo? How are they making sense of the world's reaction to that crime when so many of their own girls remain missing and in danger? I have to say it's really, really tragic, you know, what the Boko Haram, you know, how they behave and what, what they, they, they are uh, uh, doing. But um, in Congo, the reactions are a little bit, of course, we support and the, but sometimes we feel like if the world have done the same mobilization, you know, for the Congolese woman, because we, we also do have lots of Congolese women, you know, still in the forest since years who are slave sex and also children. I think it would have been something good for, for the Congo, but they, they, they just let all the, the tragedy be. And we cannot compare one tragedy to another one, but sometimes it's a little bit, it hurts a little bit to see like the whole world is just focusing there. And so am I. But what about, what about Congo? Yeah. What about Congo? What about Sudan? What about uh, Central Africa? Nothing, nothing happened. <laughs>